Today is January 8, 2020, 10, 17 p.m. Yesterday I did this video, but it was it was lagging trying to line up the, uh, the sound and the instrument playing. So I'm going to do it again. We not want to know about the Messiah. Remember, Satan slaughtered the firstborns in the days of Moses, and he did it again in the days of Christ because he was literally terrified. And got so desperate to the point he thought he could kill the Messiah to stop the prophecy from coming to pass. But of course he failed. But I needed you to see. I just wanted you to go on a brief walk with me to see how long Satan has been playing this game of chess. And although this is just but a small video in the whole world is a stage of series. But this is a revelation that the Most High gave me that I must release to all of you. And thank God you're watching this right now. And the reason we went on that journey is so that way you can look back into history see the moves that are being played on the chessboard by the dragon to know your enemy's future and you start this past. Before we talk about New Year's Eve, we must go back to the Remember that the axe is laid at the Brothers and sisters, I don't know if you caught what I just said. What would be the odds? You mean to tell me that right before Jesus Christ comes to the earth, the dragon would switch up and place a man on a throne 
who would be exalted as a god by the name of Julius Caesar. Brothers and sisters, remember earlier when I told you how Satan was watching prophecy throughout the years, waiting for the signs that are written in the word to come to pass so he could try to prepare to fight against the Messiah. Do you think it is a coincidence that right before Jesus Christ comes to the earth, the dragon would change the way things were done in Rome. You see, before Julius Caesar took control in 48 BC, the Roman Empire was not ruled by the emperor, but by two consuls who were elected by the citizens of Rome. At that time, Rome was known as a republic. But all of a sudden, the dragon would switch up in a panic. I mean, you can only imagine how the dragon trying to figure out the prophecies of Daniel but couldn't accurately estimate it to the exact day and hour would raise up a king on a throne in the very season that Jesus Christ would be born from the womb of a virgin that God Almighty would walk among us in the flesh. Do you think that is a coincidence? Can't you see that the dragon was raising up this king to change times and laws to wage a war against the son of man. The reason why I'm showing you this is because it connects, because it's all gonna connect together as we expose this ancient occult ritual to open up a demonic portal it is like to no, curse those who participate in Mystery Babylon. Joining us, I'm not making this up, 3.30 today at 7th and Main. Messed with the calendar and established January 1st as the beginning of the new year, circa 46 B.C. Dedicated to a false god named Janus. Programmer. Janus. Joining us, I'm not making this up, 3.30 today at 7th and Main. Whose spirit inhabited doorways and arches? Maybe you want to check it out. caution if you do, don't go down there. January had a very special significance for the Romans. Joining us, I'm not making this up, Believing that Janus symbolically looked backwards into the previous year and ahead into the future. And the Romans offered sacrifices to the deity and made promises of good conduct for the coming year. Now, brothers and sisters, you have to ask yourself a question. Out of all the false gods, why would Julius Caesar, led by the dragon, raise up Janus to be honored and glorified for the beginning of the year? Remember, the Bible says that the Antichrist seeks to change times and laws. And brothers and sisters, do I really have to stop and explain to you that January is not the beginning of the year according to the word of the Lord? So if it's not the beginning of the year according to the God we serve, why would you have anything to do with it to begin with. Now I know we are in the world, but we are not supposed to be of the world. Because a friend of the world is an enemy of God. So I truly believe that the devil, trying to figure out prophecy, raised up this Caesar as a means to try to fight the Messiah as he entered into this dimension. Are you starting to see it now? I mean, think of the accuracy. What would be the odds, brothers and sisters? And why choose Janice? Well, 
first off, let's talk about a few things. There are actual coins depicting the face of Janus and the door of Janus even on the very coins of Caesar. This is literally a fact. Even before the Lord God Messiah came to the earth, there were already coins operating through society with buying and selling from Rome all the way into Jerusalem. During the days of Moses, the Messiah was not only fighting the dragon himself, seated in the heart of Pharaoh, seated in the temple of Pharaoh, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, was also fighting the gods of Egypt. Now, I'm not going to get into it in this video. You can watch our video called, In Paganism We Trust. Jesus Christ, through Moses, fought the top 10 gods of Egypt. And every plague that was released through Moses was a direct strike against the gods of Egypt. You understand? What if I told you that when Jesus Christ came to the earth, he was not only waging war against Satan himself, seated in the heart of Caesar, but he was also fighting against the gods of Rome. Are you seeing it now? And there's many times when Jesus Christ is talking about certain things. He was letting the people know, I am the true way. I am the true door. I am the true God. That all these false gods that were worshipped in Rome, and that that mystery Babylon spirit was spreading even in Jerusalem. Jesus Christ came to let it be known that none of those gods could stand against him and that they have illegally tried to take his titles and position. And you see, devils were trembling when they were caught by surprise being casted out of the temples of men because they knew and understood this is Christ. So these false gods that the dragon would place and set up to be worshipped had different features, names, and titles that he would give them. But if you know what the word says, that when the people would worship these false gods, they were really worshiping the dragon and the principalities and powers and the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. They were worshiping and offering up to the devils. Offering sacrifices to devils. Are you starting to see it now? Now we have a lot we have to go over. We have to talk about the 12 months of the year. Although we will be focusing on January, I want to expose a satanic message hidden within the lineup of the 12 months. Remember, everything is to wage war against the Messiah and the people of God. Make no mistake about it. So there is a strategic reason why the dragon, out of any time in history, would raise up a Caesar, a demigod to be worshipped, right before the Messiah would be born. And change times and laws, and give homage to a Roman deity by the name of Janus, to bewitch the minds of people confusion but I want you to but I'm going to play a video and I want you to hear what it said about this false god really this principality
him from worshiping this false god, Janus. But I want us to go through the titles and expose the agenda that's been hidden right in between the lines of history for over 2,000 years. Notice that Janus is called the beginning and the end. But Jesus Christ said in Revelation chapter 1 verse 8, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Notice that, notice that one of the titles of Janus is that he is the door. But Jesus Christ said in John chapter 10 verse 9, I am the door. You see that? And by me if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. It is said that Janus had all power over time. But in Matthew 28, Jesus said, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. He is the ancient God of time travel. Jesus Christ has authority of time. Notice that in the pictures of this false god Janus, he's holding keys. It is said that he has the keys of all doors. But Jesus Christ said in Revelation chapter 1 verse 18, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen and have the keys of hell and death. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 19, he says that I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. And remember what I told you, that in Rome, Janus was worshiped as the door and the only way to other gods. They called him the path or the way and that it was only through him that they could get to those other demon gods. Well, I know that my Bible says in John chapter 14 verse six, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the father but by me. Are you starting to see why the dragon chose to put this Caesar on the throne right before the Messiah would be born and that operating through this Caesar would change times and laws and raise up this false god named Janus that just so happened to be called many of the titles that rightly belong to the Messiah same time did I not tell you the whole world is a stage now notice in these pictures this false god is depicted having two faces one that looks into the future and one that looks into the past and they believe that Janice was at the beginning and end of everything from life and death to marriage to peace and war. Once again, trying to rob God of his rightful positions, committing blasphemy and abominations on the earth. Now in Roman pagan mythology, Janus was the husband of Kamasin, a nymph, and the two had a son named Tiberinus. It was from Tiberinus that the river Tiber gained its name. Prior to that, the river was known as Albula. Following Tiberinus's death in the river or on its banks, However, the name was changed. You see, I want you to remember that for a little bit later. 
why was Janus such an important god to the Romans? The Romans regarded Janus as an important god, which is evident in one of his titles, Divum Deus, which means the god's god. Before a sacrifice could be made to any of the other deities, Janus would first be invoked and a libation would be poured out for him. The rationale for this is that since Janus was the doorkeeper to the heavens, it was through him that all the other gods and goddesses may be reached. Are you starting to see why the dragon chose to raise up Caesar and through Caesar change times and laws and rearrange the calendar and place Janus at the very beginning? It is very evident why this false god Janus was chosen. But did you know that some scholars regard Janus as the god of all beginnings and believe that his association with doorways is a derivative? He was invoked as the first of any gods in regular liturgies. But brothers and sisters, the Bible says that in the beginning was the word, not Janus. In the beginning was Christ. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. Are you starting to see the bigger picture? But I want you to think about something very logically. The pictures that you're seeing on the screen are actual ancient coins that even predate when the Messiah came to the earth. Now I want you to see the pictures that are on the screen. These are coins with the image of Janus or the representation of Janus. These coins were actually in circulation of buying and selling when the Messiah came to the earth. I want you to think about that for a moment. Jesus Christ, let it be known. I am the door, not Janus. I am the way, not Janus. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, not Janus. And have you considered that it could be possible that the very money Judas betrayed the Messiah to get could have had the image of Janus? On it but now we must move on to the next level of this message I want you to listen carefully to when it comes to the temple of Janus the worship of Janus traditionally dated back to Romulus in a period even before the actual founding of the city of Rome there were many Jana i.e. ceremonial gateways in Rome. These were usually freestanding structures that were used for symbolically auspicious entrances or exits. Particular superstitions were attached to the departure of a Roman army, for which there were lucky and unlucky ways to march through a Janus. You see? So when they would actually march through this archway, this gateway, they believed they were going through this principality named Janus, this demon. The most famous Janus in Rome was the Janus Geminus, which was actually a shrine of Janus at the north side of the Forum. It was a simple rectangular bronze structure with double doors at each end. Traditionally, listen carefully, the doors of this shrine were left open in time of war, but they were kept closed when Rome was at peace. According to the Roman historian Livy, the gates were closed only twice in all the long period between Numa Pomphilius, 7th century BC and Augustus of the 21st century BC. Did you hear that? So this temple, the doors would remain open when there was war, but they were shut, I want you to remember that, 
as we dive into the next segment of this video. The hidden satanic message within the names of the 12 months. Now brothers and sisters, you know now the main point of this study is on January and the New Year's ritual and the lifting up and implementation of this principality, false god Janus. So after January, which is dedicated to Janus, you had February. Now this was different because it represented an occult purification ritual where the pagans would go through a whole purification process offering up sacrifices to the gods of Rome. March was dedicated to Mars, the god of war. Now when we say the god of war, we're talking about to the pagans. We know that they are false gods. We know that they are demons receiving worship to the dragon. But April was a was dedicated to Aphrodite and Venus, and it literally means to open the portal. I want you to remember that. May represented the goddess Maya. May was dedicated to Maya, the earth goddess. June was dedicated to Juno, the goddess of women childbearing and marriage july listen to this carefully was dedicated to julius caesar and he was lifted up as a god august was dedicated to augustus caesar we're going to talk about him a little bit later but he also was lifted up as a god and he was the one that was actually ruling when Jesus Christ came to the earth. He was the one who took the place of Julius Caesar. In fact, many say he was the first official Caesar. But here's where it gets interesting. September is from the word septem, meaning seven. October is from the word octo, meaning eight. In November is the word novum, chief, meaning nine. And, and December right now is from the word decem, meaning ten. Think of how foolish this is. Well, that, like, uh, 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 billions that of on the Gregorian calendar, else. you know, trees know by its fruit. Which if means the people that you're choosing to like share month. with the world for your Christmas October, message is so much which means 8th is you know, the 10th month. Day, days, November, the which, means day, November day, which means 9, is the 11th month. And December, which means 10, is the 12th month. Brothers and sisters, this is not logical Again, any way looking. you look at this. Yeah, it's utter foolishness. So exactly but now let I us predicted. see the hidden occult message within the lineup of the 12 months of the year. Janus, this false god of doors, and they say he is the only way you can get to the other gods. That by baptizing the people into Janus to start off the year, they would enter in through a ritual of purification, you see? But is meaning when you February, would disappear off of and then YouTube. March, but you have to do it means publicly Mars, now and just which is the god of war. That, that's the Remember what I got. told you oh, earlier please. that the doors You're of Janus say, you know, god were Almighty. only open god Almighty during would take, would war. Give up, give they it, were always shut rid of his during a time of peace. Listening. Notice that right after March, right. which means war, wants to hear what I have April to means to open the portal or the doors. You see? Are you starting to see the message? May represents the earth goddess. This is the bringing forth of the temples for the beast to use to set up his earthly kingdom. Because man is made from the dust of the earth, you see? June 
is the goddess is dedicated to the goddess of women marriage and, and childbirth fertility this is talking about that from may to june the earth goddess would bring forth a man child july meaning julius caesar that from the earth will rise up a temple by the name of julius caesar and following him augustus the very ruler that would be alive during the time when the messiah would be born into the earth in september october november maybe you want to check it out but you is a representation of mystery babylon because that delightful neighborhood I'm going to be there. Joining us, I'm not making Is this up, 3.30 today at 7th and Main. To call yeah, September, which means 7, 9. To call October, which means 8, 10. November 9 to 11. Where December, which means 10. You can't even make this stuff 12. up. Is this Where not um, confusion? So when you saw it, it's a, so what you're saying, you can't make so it on the channel. Reading, reading as, as it's saying, the mystery says it this. It is like, no, it is a delightful neighborhood. I I'm going to read this. Join us. I'm not making this up. 3.30 today at 7th and Main. Where... So when you he saw it, it's what you're saying. You can't make stuff up that you didn't look at. And that through March, it is March, like, no, it is the God of War will allow the door and portal to be to remain open. You see, and from the Earth Goddess, and the Goddess of Women, Marriage, and Childbirth, the Dragon setting up his temples, because remember, you have no choice but to also add all the popes into this equation you see so this represents the 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 building up of earth temples you know human beings that the dragon could seat himself into to operate on the chessboard of deception and do his bidding on the earth are you seeing it now but remember earlier i told you that Augustus and show you the image from it real quick. That I haven't gone Julius over and checked out Robin's Caesar. channel. Robin does some uh, some some interesting Augustus work. He's, he's followed me for a little while. A he's had demigod. some things trying to figure me out, but I love him. And ruler he's a great guy. Rome we got to talk on the phone. Uh, we've Christ had a couple of different the conversations. Show you the image from but approximately 14 years of Jesus Christ being on the earth, Augustus was replaced with Tiberius. And this was the very Caesar that would be reigning from Rome when Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, was crucified and died for our sins and rose from the dead. But as I was meditating on this, what would be the odds that Augusta, who was the, who was the ruler when Jesus Christ came to the earth, his name would mean great, magnificent, and even holy to the people. And we know that Satan exalts himself and is as an angel of light. So he wants to be like the Most High. So it would only be obvious that the ruler during the time when Jesus would come to the earth from the dust of the earth, a temple would be made for the dragon. And they would lift him up as a great, magnificent, holy demigod. You see? Blasphemy. But I want to focus on Tiberius, who was the Caesar and the ruler after Augusta died. Now, I want you to think about this. Tiberius was the very temple the dragon was operating through at the same time while Jesus Christ was on the earth healing the sick, telling the people to repent, gathering up his disciples, and eventually dying for us. This was the very temple that the dragon was seated in. But guess what this ruler's name meant? This person that was lifted up as a demigod. Tiberius is of the Tiber River that runs through Rome. The one that you could throw a rock at from the Vatican. 
but I started to meditate on this. Tiberius was of the river that runs through Rome. But wait a minute, brothers and sisters. Remember earlier, what was the name of the son of this false god Janus? Do you remember? The name of their son was Tiberius, who died by the river that runs through Rome. And they dedicated this river to the son of Janus. What would be the odds? Look at this now. Jesus Christ is the river of life that runs through the kingdom of heaven. Jesus is the living water from heaven. He is the river of life. What would be the odds that the dragon would establish this kingdom with a demigod ruler on the throne just before the Messiah would come to the earth? They would raise up this false god Janus as the beginning of the calendar year, the Gregorian calendar of the year. And that during the life of Jesus Christ, there would be another Caesar, another ruler that would rise up as a earthly temple for the dragon. And his name just so happened to be Tiberius. The very name dedicated to Janus. And his name would mean, and his name would represent the river that runs through Rome. You had a direct parallel that the river of the beast would wage war and put to death the river of life. Wow. Brothers and sisters, prophecy is being revealed. But, but praise be to God the Father that Jesus Christ had a plan that the devil couldn't understand but knew he would raise from the dead on the third day, conquering death, hell, and the grave, and putting Satan and his entire kingdom to an open spectacle, to an open shame. Because if the princes knew who it was they were killing, the Bible says, they would have never crucified the Lord of glory. Have you considered that it's not just talking about the princes as in earthly vessels of man that were ruling at that time but also the principalities and powers satan would have never wanted anything to do with crucifying the messiah if he knew what would happen in doing that you see so even though satan is still playing chess to this day he already lost the messiah already beat him on the cross but brothers and sisters you have to ask yourself if the dragon already lost ultimately why is he still playing chess in this last hour it's because he wants to take as many children of God with him to the lake of fire as possible mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. I wanna show you what goes on in my mind. But I don't think you can handle that if I showed you what goes on in my mind. The visions that I see Are you 
And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Behold, I show you a mystery. Are you ready to connect the dots with me? Then let us begin. As we have told you over and over again, that the world is a stage and Hollywood is the magic wand of the dragon. Well, it just so happens to be that Janice Films handles the rights in all media to the extensive library. But we're just gonna push that aside and move on to far more important topics. Remember in the beginning of the video, I told you that it was very foolish for YouTube to strike against us, forcing us to take down the original video. Stronger, we are now going to present to you the Janus connection to the abomination, and then we will move on to the topic of the dragon and the 12 Caesars. Remember in the beginning how that predictive programming, that lesser magic, flooded with blue and yellow symbolism in the show, in the series, Utopia. You have to ask yourself the question, is it only about movies and shows, or are these truly the tools that the dragon uses? the bite of the serpent in this TV show. And if you don't know what the bite of the serpent is, I really hope you'll figure it out. Because of the beast algorithm system, we can't use certain words when exposing the dragon. Do you think that it's just a coincidence or they're just having fun? Or do you truly believe these were very precise and serious moves that were being executed on the chessboard of deception, planting into the minds of the masses what the beast was planning to do? What would be the odds? that in our reality, not a TV show, but in real life, Janice pops up his ugly two faces once again. Have you ever heard of the Janice nanoparticle? Notice the colors blue and yellow, blue and yellow. We're not going to get all scientific and, just and spend an hour that's, that's going the best through this information. 
you have free will. Something the light of the Lord on a cut do down your own tree research. To cut down as but what I want to focus on is the progression through this game on the chessboard and the articles that were being published right before the eyes of the masses without them even noticing it. Notice it says that Janus nanoparticles, recent advances in their interfacial and biomedical applications. Notice it says the COV19 snakebite designed the Janus face of immune enhancements. And you know, and they truly believe that Janus is the god of doors. What would be the odds that Janus would be directly connected to the abomination? And I was meditating on this in the spirit. And that's when it hit me. The reason why they have connected Janus to the abomination with the power of nanotechnology. And if they believe he is the God of doors, what is the dragon really saying? I believe the hidden message that they don't want brought to the light is they believe that this abomination connecting Janice is because they are opening up the door to the genome within mankind. They are unlocking that forbidden territory that they are not supposed to go into, which is the blueprint in the very book of everyone's life. That book is the DNA. So by choosing the name Janus, dedicated to this pagan god, dedicated to this Roman pagan god of doors, they are declaring that they have opened up that forbidden door to the DNA, changing the very design and makeup, entering in and committing Haragma, cutting and etching and carving and changing the very genome. And instead of it being 10, 5, 6, 5, it becomes 10, 5, 6, 6, 6, 5. 10, 5, 6. Of that door and changing that double to a triple healing starting to see hmm. now 10 5 6 5 at 10 this 6 is the mystery 10 5 they 6 don't want you to know <clears throat> they are using this false god who they believe they are using they have chosen the name janice this two-faced that they believe has the authority of doors we know jesus christ is the almighty and has the power to open any door that no one can shut and he can shut any door that none can open but you see it's all about confusion it's mystery babylon so they have chosen janice this principality as a way of boasting that they have opened up this forbidden door Gone to the very root of the tree of mankind. Are you starting to see now? What would be the odds that there is a hill dedicated to Janice? Jani Kalum, I believe is how you pronounce it. And Janicolin Hill was the center for the cult of the Roman god Janus. But brothers and speak, sisters, though? what would be the odds that it is said that Peter the Apostle was actually murdered and crucified in Rome 
on this very hill they know not what they face while politicians say face genius minds lay the ways if i wasn't kicking rhymes i'd be kicking down doors peter social change and defending the lord the god always been militant and ready for war we're going to snatch up the ringleaders send them home and they draw us but first with the safe act let's make them show us and tell them hurry up give up the loot that they owe us we bring it back around the way to our peace because times are way too deep we know the code of the streets meet your defeat This is my Robin Hood theory. My Robin Hood theory. I floss my rhymes like dentals. My mental's presidential. From the wild ghetto districts to the plush residential. Essential will be the message that I send you. Remember that it was revealed. Elevate at every venue. How the dragon raised up a Caesar. And nowadays I paved the way for troops of my young In his own son of God referring to the devil. Not the son of God, Jesus Christ, but his own Caesar. That would be a God-man to rule. At the very same time, the Messiah is coming to the earth. And it just so happens to be that there would be 12 Caesars, just as Jesus Christ had his 12 disciples. And remember, the Caesar that was alive when Jesus Christ was murdered was Tiberius. And what would be the odds that this was the very name of the son of this false god of this principality, Janus. And this Caesar with this very same name would be the one ruling on the throne of the dragon when the Son of God would be crucified and killed. I want you to watch this video and you tell me that the whole world isn't a stage. Brothers and sisters, you can't make this stuff up. Yes, there is. Joining us, I'm not making this up. 3:30 today at 7th and Main. You can't make this stuff up. Why? Out Robin Channel. Robin does some uh, some some interesting work. He's, Maybe you want to check it out. He's but he's followed me for a little while. Going he's down down because trying to figure me out. It is like no, it's this delightful neighborhood. I'm going to be uh, there. Joining us, I'm not making this up. 3:30 today at 7th and Main. Robin does some uh, some some interesting work. He's maybe you want to check it out. But he's for a little while. He's going down there trying to figure me out. But it I is love like it. not one of those delightful neighborhoods. I'm going to be there. 3:30. Me. Joining us. I'm not making this up. 3:30 today at 7th and Main. You can't make this stuff up. Your report and approval by the Food and Drug Administration of a vaccine developed by Pfizer, followed by approval of another from Moderna. What is D-Day? The day that we deliver the first round of vaccine. What is D-Day? The day that we deliver the first round of vaccine.
Still we're gonna fight Crumbling in feeling Surrounded by police No one can escape this We should not give in Senseless questions gonna fight If what Robin says is true, and you this whole time have been a part of some evil agenda, and they have promised you something and given you knowledge or what have you, 
or maybe that they've told you, and I'm saying if, I'm not saying for sure, or maybe that they've told you that you are the good guy, that you are going to be this elevated figure in, in this uh, in this whole end times deal. analogy of what of Robin because Robin thinks he's going to be a king in heaven and you know what he may as well he might be I don't know but this guy Robin's so fucking sure that he's sure that he's saved and that's another issue I have if what Robin says is Sons of light. 